painful slap in Sussex's face. Meghan Kelly drags Meghan through the mud, branded her clueless. Meghan Markle has been slammed for her irrelevant musings by a critic after she spoke out against people describing women as difficult. On the most recent episode of her podcast, Archetypes, the Duchess of Sussex said people use the word as a code word for the B-word, but speaking to GB News, journalist Megan Kelly slammed the claim and called the former Suits actress clueless. I wouldn't necessarily call her the B-word, but I would definitely call her the C-word, clueless, Kelly said. She is utterly clueless. I am so sick of her tired, irrelevant musings about her non-problems. The American media personality added that Meghan should stop complaining and start showing gratitude as many people in California, where she lives, have it much worse than her. Let me give you some perspective, she lives in California where they have approximately 160,000 homeless people, Kelly added. On a countrywide basis, we have people that can't afford Thanksgiving turkeys, they can't pay their gas and electric bills, they can't buy food the way that they used to. And we're supposed to give a damn whether someone is calling her the B-word or difficult. And we don't. She doesn't get it. No one gives a damn about these non-problems. She should stop complaining and start showing gratitude about what appears to be a very beautiful life, about which she finds nothing to celebrate. Kelly pointed out that the Duchess has a big platform in the form of a podcast which she is using as a therapy session where she talks about herself when there are more pressing subjects she could address. It's true that Meghan has a huge platform, she was revealed to be the third most influential member of the royal family, despite having walked away from her duties in 2020 in favor of a life in America. She was pipped to the top spot by the late Queen Elizabeth II, who, despite having passed away in September of this year, is still the most talked about member of the firm, and Kate Middleton, who came second. Meghan's husband, Prince Harry, came in fourth. The pair abandoned the comforts of royal living to pursue creative projects more than two years ago and, alongside archetypes, are currently working on a Netflix series together. Harry's long-awaited memoir, Spare, is also set to hit shelves in January after the release date was pushed back. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, first stepped down as working members of the British royal family and moved to California in 2020, there was wide speculation as to how many traditions and royal rules the couple would follow, even on the other side of the pond. This week, Meghan made it clear for the second time since her move back to the US that there is at least one royal tradition she is happy to break with, the tradition of royal family members staying out of politics by not voting, via people. During the American presidential election of 2020, Meghan Markle proudly voted, and she and Harry publicly urged other Americans to do their civic duty and cast their ballots in what the couple called the most important election of our lifetime. This week, Meghan very publicly used her right as an American citizen to vote in the midterm elections, and she proudly posted a photo of herself wearing her I Voted sticker to social media, urging others to follow suit, via the mirror. The caption under the photo read, Today is election day in the US. Time to get out and vote. Meghan and Harry also used their Archwell site to share a text service number that offered to help people find their respective polling places, saying, Text Archwell to 26797 to find your polling location and make sure you are ready to vote.